My name is Brianna Henson. I grew up in a Christian home and was raised going to church. I accepted Jesus into my heart at a very young age. I grew up with a healthy relationship with God, enjoyed serving at church, going to youth group, and working as a camp counselor. Early in my teen years, I started noticing signs of anxiety and depression. When COVID happened, things got worse. A relationship with one of my best friends ended, and I lost a lot of other friends that time. My mental health got worse, and I started drifting away from God. If he was so powerful, why was he allowing me to go through so much pain? About a week after I turned 18, I overdosed on Tylenol. My best friend knew something was wrong, and she was there for me when it happened. I was in the hospital at Lancaster Behavioral for about a week, but it was only a Band-Aid for my mental health. I wasn't getting better. That spring, my boyfriend of almost three years broke up with me. My whole world was shattered. Everything I had dreamed of was ripped away. I not only lost my relationship with him, but also my relationship with God. I was so angry with God, and I blamed him. I started coping in unhealthy ways that were not only destructive towards myself, but also hurting others badly. When fall came around, I continued to spiral into manic behavior. My relationship with my family was at an all-time low, and I felt like I had lost all the good people in my life. Before I was 19, I had another overdose. I moved out of my parents' house because my relationship with them was failing. I continued to cope unhealthily and became more out of control. I lived that year hopping from job to job, fighting addictions, and spending all my money. After that year, I moved back in with my parents. It wasn't easy at first, but we made compromises to make the living situation better for all of us. My relationship with my parents was being restored. By this point, I had maintained a job I enjoyed for almost a year, had found a therapist I really loved, and made some quality friendships. I had even restored old relationships that had been lost. However, my relationship with God was still lost. Recently, one of my former pastors reached out to me and said, I pray for you every day. He proceeded to ask me how I was doing and invited me to adultish. I cried when I read those words. I felt no one, I felt like no one had checked in on me in a while. While I was hesitant to respond at first, over time I opened up. I shared my story and he accepted me for it. He prayed with me. I realized I had been drifting away from God for years and I was so angry at him. I realized now he had to put me through absolute hell for me to realize that I needed him. I'm not the person I was a year ago. God is still working on me. He's still making me a better person. I used to think I wouldn't live past 20, but God's not done with me yet. In the water with me today is my friend Lydia Burton. These just keep getting harder. Man, uh, Bree, I... I can't begin to express to you how thankful I am for you. I think you are just a testimony that God is just pursuing our kids. God loves you so much. And his love for you is greater than your parents' love, my love your friends love and he reached down and he grabbed a hold of you and he said no matter what happens you're mine and Bree I just as your I don't know weird adopted father I just want to let you know that I love you so much I'm so glad you had the courage to come here and do this and declare before all these people that not only do you love Jesus, he loves you. And it might not be perfect, but that's okay because you're changing and you're growing and you're becoming more like him. And I'm grateful for that. So Bree, it's with a great honor that I get to baptize you with Lydia in the name of the Father and the Son 